Leah was born on March 14th, 2018. I can remember lying in the hospital and seeing a little checklist. And one of the things on that list was newborn hearing screen. I remember them not getting any responses and just immediately my heart sunk and I knew something was wrong. I remember the audiologist saying, there's no response. What does that mean? What do you mean no response? So no response meant yeah, she, she said was your profoundly, baby was profoundly deaf. deaf. Getting that phone call that she, yes, she would be able to have cochlear implants. It was, it was it amazing. Was, it was like, a, oh, you know, she's gonna be okay. This is about three months after her diagnosis and being born that we were just feeling comfortable again that we can, that we can handle this. We got a call from our geneticist and the first thing she said was, it's not, what I had expected. I got a frantic text from her and I had a... <sighs> Leah spent the first six months of her life without access to sound and you could already tell that she was relying heavily on her eyesight to help her navigate through the world. The notion that she could lose her sight as well as losing her hearing was just kind of unfathomable. You start asking yourself questions like, well, what can she be when she grows up? I'm a designer by trade and I've been looking forward to nothing but teaching this little girl and my daughter how to draw, but do I want to teach them something that they'll eventually lose? Um, so you really start to get conscious about how you prepare or raise your child. You go through a grieving process because the life that you imagined is no longer going to happen. We're in uncharted territory. As difficult as, as this has been, there is this glimmer of hope. There are researchers out there working on new medical strategies like gene augmentation, face editing, and CRISPR that could cure hereditary blindness today. Even though the science is there, the funding is not. Rare diseases like Usher, uh, they don't provide the opportunity for big pharmaceutical companies to make a lot of money. So it's up to families and foundations like ours to self-fund medical research and clinical studies. It is literally a race against time. Every day that goes by, Leah loses more and more vision. We started this organization as just two parents. 100% of your donation goes directly to the doctors that we're working with and putting all of our faith in. We need your help. Please visit savesitenow.org and donate whatever you can. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>